Okay, so we're going to add a, an announcement to our site. So click Announcements in the left-hand menu. Click Add at the top. Enter a title for your announcement. And then scroll down and you'll see the um, editor, the FCK editor, which you might already be familiar with. And just type um, a little message, some uh, something to go out uh, as your announcement. And then just for practice, go ahead and um, try uh, some formatting. You can make your text larger. You can um, maybe you want to highlight one of the words. Um, Maybe you want to italicize something. Just play around with the formatting just so you get comfortable with it. You can even add smileys. They're kind of fun. So after you've um, played around with some formatting, added your announcement text, scroll down. And here's where you're going to decide how the announcement gets posted, um, who gets to see it. So by default, it is displayed to the site, meaning um, just the participants in your class site, your students. Another option is to display to public. So that would be um, on the gateway page in, uh, when someone looks up your class. Or you can um, choose to display to selected groups if you have groups set up in your class. Then um, moving down, um, you have a choice to uh, choose a date when your announcement will be released or posted to your site. So you would click the calendar here. Then you would wait for it to come up. Okay, I'll try that again. Okay, and then um, just, you know, typical calendar, you want to choose your time first, and then when you have your time selected, you click on the date. And then that would make it so that announcement would be opened or released on that date. Moving down, um, you have an option to add attachments, um, any number of attachments. Uh, these would be, you know, files like Word files, PDF files, Excel files, any type of files can be added to your announcement. And then finally, your last option here um, before you save or post is um, to choose if emails will get sent out. So by default, no. No emails are sent. Uh, the other two options are high, meaning all participants will receive emails of this announcement, or low, meaning only the participants who um, have as their uh, profile preferences to receive low priority announcements. So those are your email options. And then finally, um, you can save this as a draft. You can just view it to you know, make sure it looks OK. You can cancel it, or we're going to choose Done, and that will post it right away to the class. So there it is. This is a list of all of our announcements. We only have one at this time. If we click Revise, we can edit the announcement. We can click on the announcement title, and it shows us the announcement. And if we go back to our home page, we'll see the announcement listed over here on the right-hand side. We can click on it and read it. That's it. That's how easy it is to add an announcement to your class.